More Cyclops skulls. Alright, this... I don't remember this stage being too hard. I did a practice run before starting this, and... I was able to find all this stuff in all the fortress levels rather easily. Now that's another thing that I guess that's been toned down from the original. They're not as expansive. Then again, I don't have maps of the original Kid Icarus to look at right now. Oh, I knew this was close by. That's the map, but it doesn't show you where you've been or where you are. Come on, get over here. do I have? That should be sufficient. Can I get something from this? Nope. Just, just a little bit of life back. So that doesn't show me where I am, but shows me where I've been. Oh! Well, that was close. Having that third health bar would have really helped against this upcoming boss. <sighs> what was it? I've been... You guys have seen me. I've been just, just wasting enemies left and right. Oh yeah, this fur something. That's actually what it's called. It's got fur in its name. Shit. It, the instruction booklet said he just floats around as if he owns the place. I mean, yeah, look, look at this one-eyed troll face. Damn it! And of course, snakes. Why did it have to be more fucking snakes? So what should I talk about as I'm trying to navigate this fuckness? Well, like I said, I finally, finally decided to get a Wii U. I found one for cheap. Funny thing is, before I actually got it, I got Hyrule Warriors beforehand. But the funny thing is, it came with Hyrule Warriors. It was le the disc was actually left in the system. And when I bought the system there... I got freebies. I got like $30 worth of in-store credit for buying Wii U games, and... I chose Super Mario 3D World, because that's kind of like the spiritual successor... Oh, okay. The spiritual successor to Super Mario Bros. 2, one of my favorites from my childhood, so I made damn sure to get that. But it already had it digitally downloaded. They said it was, like, factory wiped, and yet... Kaboom! I had it, already. It's like, what a waste. And... What did I use with the remainder of my in-store credit? Mighty Number no. 9. Yeah, I figured, eh, why not. Is it like Zelda? Is there anything hidden in the eye or whatever? No, guess not. So what else did I have? I... Downloaded, like, the free trial for Fatal Frame 5. I will get... That was another reason I got it. Fatal Frame fucking 5, but... Fuck Nintendo for not giving us Americans a physical copy. What's this? Ugh, overpriced. That's gonna save my money. Then again, I do have the credit card. Is there... Hey, looking. And shitballs. Whoa! Good old friend the eggplant wizard. 
Uh, I miss the eggplant wizard. I mean... Ways oh, hot spring! Thank you! Get me from wasting another hammer, of which I have only 11 left? Damn. I mean, the eggplant wizard and King Hippo. When it comes to bumbling cartoon duos from the 80s... I love them even more than Rocksteady and Bebop. Even more so. I mean, possibly more so. No, no. I think definitely more so, because... No, I didn't want to go there. Because nowadays, we have even better versions of Rocksteady and Bebop. We have... Well, the movie versions were entertaining. It was great to see them on the big screen, but I was thinking more of... the 2012 cartoon versions. I mean... They're kind of... a big departure. I mean... That Bebop, he's not big and strong like Roxetti. He's lanky. He's more of a... a fleet-of-foot dance battler than a brute. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Did you guys see that? Holy shit! That was close. <sighs> At least you don't get turned into amplified by touching them. <sighs> Is there any hot springs close to here? Because I really want to face that Minotaur with fire, at least. Oh, here we go! Oh! And... Oh well, it's not a Kid Icarus run unless you get turned into a fucking eggplant. Go find the damn hospital. It's funny how he's got eyes now, so he can actually... Because remember that, that web series, Sonic for Hire? <laughs> it's had it so, like, Pit couldn't see a damn thing as an eggplant, and that was actually a plot point. Thank you, that'll help. Okay, where do I want to be? up again. Yeah, that's how you do it, fuckers. Right. Ah, oh, shit. You know what? Fuck it, fuck it. There we go. Full life, because I think here's the boss. I can't reach him. Okay, he doesn't really... <sighs> yeah, this guy takes forever, I remember. Even... Okay, just let him just chuck his little... Oh, shit! Just, this is a battle of attrition, but now it's gonna be harder since I lost my super arrow. And he fakes you out! Makes you think he's gonna materialize in one place and then winds up... Oh! This is a very frustrating battle, I remember. And we're gonna be here a while. Okay, this is a good spot to be. Okay, where is he exactly? Oh, well, staying where I am, I can avoid the... I was really done letting myself get hit by the fucking fireballs. <sighs> well, I better get a, l a longer life bar after getting through all this shit. I mean, how many fucking eggplant wizards did I just plow through? 
Oh, sometimes he does appear where the flame stops. He fucks with you. Still, I do like this game more than the original. But did you know that this game was not released in Japan? I mean, what the hell? I mean, and it was a Japanese developer too, it's not like Silent Hill Homecoming, which had an American developer. weird thing is, I think I realize it's not so surprising I like this so much, because the team that did, like, Tosei, they also did the Game Boy version of Metal Gear, which I actually like more than the PS1 version. It's just good old 2D action that I loved in Metal Gear 2. And, and that's my absolute favorite. So, I know Metal Gear Ghost Babel is not really supposed to be canon or whatever, but I just can't throw it aside, because... Oh, shit. I shouldn't have jumped there. Because it was just so much fun, and why not? It gives Solid Snake another notch under his belt. A th fourth Metal Gear he took out, not just three. Because he doesn't get his own games anymore. They're all about his daddy, and they resolved his storyline in Metal Gear Solid 4, and... Basically, all you see Snake himself doing these days is in Smash Brothers. Well, not in the Wii U one, but he came back for this one that just released, along with Simon Belmont. Oh, yeah, Simon and Smash Brothers. We got Simon, we got Pit, we got Mega Man, it's a Captain N reunion. Yeah, I got one hit on him. Ah! If I die on him... Okay. <sighs> Just patience. Patience, Gray Man. Patience! This Kangashkan looking Meganator motherfucker is obviously less than worthy. Dead yet? I'm gonna have so much trouble in the next place too because I'm so short on life. Ugh. No, 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 Yeah! Got him! And I still get hit in the end. Oh, fuck yeah, I want to save after all that. <laughs> 